1 8 inch aluminum plates cut out per the drawings on our web page. Press in the five bearings. Pay attention to the bearings orientation. Flanges should go to the inside of the gearbox so they can't pop out. That is with the exception of the smaller bearing by the motor mount. Using a 5 and a quarter inch piece of half inch hex shaft and a 3 8 inch cluster hex shaft, assemble the gears as shown. A half inch wide hex spacer is used on the half inch shaft to hold the 50 tooth half inch hex gear up to the proper height. Attach a half inch hex collar to the end of the half inch hex shaft. Add a thrust washer to the sim motor and insert the keyway. Mount the sim motor using 5 8 inch 1032 screws. Washers are required for spacers because a small bearing by the motor mount protrudes past the aluminum plate. Put the 14 tooth 8 mm bore gear on motor shaft and hold on with supplied locking clip. Hold plates together using 4 2 inch quarter 20 bolts. 1 inch spacers and a few washers are used to ensure plates are the correct distance apart to let gears fit properly. Test the gears to be sure that they move freely. Assemble Versa hubs to wheel using 2 inch 832 screws. Place wheel on half inch hex shaft using spacers as necessary to center it. Then, place the back plate with the bearing on to shaft and add a hex shaft collar to complete the lower gear assembly. Check to make sure that your assembly matches ours. Now drill holes in a 60 tooth sprocket. This can be done using a Lazy Susan as a template or use the one on our webpage. It must be very accurate, so be careful. Use 3 quarter inch countersunk screws to fasten the Lazy Susan to the top plate. Be sure to use lock nuts and tighten well. Mount the lower gear assembly to the Lazy Susan using 1 and half inch 1024 screws and lock nuts. Placing a couple washers in between the lower assembly and the Lazy Susan helps with clearance. Place two regular nuts on top of the lock nuts to give some spacing for the 60 tooth sprocket. Attach the 3D printed slip ring holder to the 60 tooth sprocket using 1 half inch 1024 screws. Holes in the sprocket may need to be drilled out. CAD files for this are available on our webpage. Insert the slip ring as shown and attach with half inch 1024 screws. Three screws will be sufficient. Push the sprocket and slip ring assembly onto the 1024 screws used for the bottom assembly. Attach with lock nuts. Now, assemble the Versa planetary gearbox. Place Versa encoder nearest to output shaft. Be sure to lubricate the inside of the encoder with white lithium grease. Then, add two 7 to 1 gear sections, followed by a motor end cap. Hold together with two 2.5 inch 832 cap screws. Be sure the gears are lubricated with red grease. Put the drive gear coupling onto the bag motor and be sure that the Allen screw is placed perpendicular to the slot in collar as shown. Now, mount the steering motor to the top plate. Use an 8 inch spacer to set the height of the 16 tooth sprocket. Leave the screws loose for now. Now add two half inch spacers above the 16 tooth sprocket and place one half inch quarter 20 bolt and washer onto the end of the shaft to hold it together. Now place the number 25 chain on sprockets. Rotate the steering motor to loosen the chain and rotate it back to tighten it. Then, tighten mounting bolts. Use Talon SBX for drive motors. Use the Talon SRX with internal PID for steering motors. A ribbon cable attaches the SRX to the Versa encoder. For example code, please visit our website. And that's it, now you have a swerve drive. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.